made them for you or anything. Of all the people, why would that person be so great? I don't understand. Go ahead. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead. Make my day. Nigger. Honestly, if they said that, I couldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even, I, I couldn't even be mad. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, m maybe, but not for, you know, you, Baka. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what she said. Why is that, why is that one the tsundere? I don't understand. Because when you're flat chested, you're naturally more angry at people who have bigger chests than you. And I assume that the main character has oh, some we're fat... a guy. I assume big, that the... Big, black, early, and bald. I assume that our big, black... I, wait. Is, I assume I that our like, big... Is, is the main character's early, text just that big? I assume that our big, burly, bald, black man actually has some grade <laughs> A man tits. So, uh, like... Yeah, are you talking, like, pecs or, like, full-on, like... See... Man tits go come in three different stages. Actually, they come in four. They come in man titty titties. When you're so fat, you have female mammaries glowing on, growing on your chest. Then you have the normal flat chest where you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm no, I'm a normally healthful individual. Then you have the pet. I mean, is there no in between? It just goes from <laughs> goes from man goes from the worst to the worst to normal. It. It goes from man titties. Is there no in between? No, to normal. <laughs> to having pecs, where you're like, yeah, I'm normal, but I also work out, so I have pecs. And then you go to having bara pecs. Now, bara pecs are when your pecs are so big, you can scientifically give someone a tit job with your pecs. <laughs> Is that what our big, burly, black, bald guy has? It's either that or man titties. Technically, <laughs> that should be considered man titties, and the latter, and the former should be called, uh, fat titties. So you have fat tits, you have the fat tit titties, normal, pecs, and man tit titties. Alright, on with the show. Baka. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup on my dick, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this goddamn classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of piss help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> I really want to pull your face into frame so people can see how disappointed you are. It's so beautiful. Uh, I... I guess. Let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh, fuck. That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Aw, you're cute. Not as cute as my girl, Monica, over here. Some of that. What? I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. I mean, you kind of sold your soul. Poor cupcake. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Right at home, you say. Huh? Well, then why aren't your tits out? That's what I'm saying. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica! I'm surprised that your tits aren't How come you decided to start your own club? 
You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, and she knows how to ar ar and she knows how to ar ar argue. God damn it. I need to stop. Stuttering. But I want to kill her. I don't like argue. Me neither. But she has just been upgraded to grade A waifu. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. You're a sad, sad little man. <laughs> what a sad, strange little man. Farewell. This is the part where we blow up. Can. <laughs> Well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Same. Trump, Putin, hallelujah. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Completely forget what I just said. There is no Trump. There is no Putin. There is no net neutrality. Or at least there will be no more. A jeep pie. A jeep. More like Egypt. From the House of the Scorpions, a book that I'm reading right now by the use of Audible.com. Audible.com. Like, Listening is the new reading. Or, I don't think that's their catchphrase, but okay. It is, surprisingly. I like how you can lightly hear the music in the background. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. A great leader. Oh, yeah. I forgot her voice. I don't know how deep it was. I think it was about here. All right. Yuri also nods in agreement. You made her have the regular voice. Shut up. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when... It's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. We have such a colorful cast of characters. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Oh, like, real quick side, quick side chat. It looks like Monica is grabbing Sayori's ass, and it looks like Sayori is playing with Yuri's hair. Oh no, are we having Skype difficulties again? <laughs> How bad is it? I mean, I, I just got a blue screen. <laughs> Thank you, AT&T. He's there. AT&T. Rethink possible. AT&T. Listening is the new reading. I know we're not having technical difficulties on the first goddamn episode. I got the screen back, but it's just super blurry. That's okay. As long as you can see the best girl on the right. You mean second from the left? Uh, Monica is my best girl. Your best girl is Yuri. My second best girl is uh, Jasper Jones. Your second best girl, I don't know who it is. It's probably some basic shit like Sayori. No. Wait, are these the only four people in the game? I believe so, from the title screen. I don't know, it'll probably be Yuri, and then... I don't know, I guess the... I don't know. I have to see the lolly? more of it in order to really make it. The I have to see more of it to make a sound decision. Look at her flat earth society. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. By the way, I'm sorry for that technical difficulty. This episode of uh, Doki Doki okay. Bukaki so Club. If you edit it out, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know there's a technical difficulty. Uh, I'm going to draw attention to it as most you as most you boobers do. As most YouTubers do. This episode of Doki Doki Bukaki Club. Just edited it out. They wouldn't know there was a technical difficulty. Uh, we don't go by Mike Howard's rules here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mike Howard had that one rule when you gave your presentation. He says if you mess up, just keep on going because no one knows that you mess up unless you let, unless you let them know. Okay, well, we clearly let them know while they, while we while this guy called got messed up that we messed up. Well, it's okay if they know, cause I mean it's 
I mean, it's not like they're going to comment about it. Hell, they'd have to watch if they wanted to comment. Anyway. <laughs> Why are you recording it? Because I like Doki Doki Bukaki Club. This episode of Doki Sweet. Doki Bukaki Club has been brought to you by AT&T. AT&T. Rethink listening is the new reading. Another one of his rules was if you're early, you're on time. If you're on so, time, uh, you're late. Does that, mean, does that mean, like, if I were to hypothetically, hypothetically allegedly, if I were to stick it in and instantly nut, <laughs> does that mean that I'm on time? I mean, let's say if I nut and then stick it in, am I early? <laughs> <laughs> or at my own time. <laughs> no, wait. If I nut before I stick, if I nut before I stick it in, am I on time or am you I nut late? Or him? <laughs> if I <laughs> on the, on the ride on the ride to her house. <laughs> no, I am talking about before you even make contact, like seconds before. If you nut before you stick it in, are you early or are you late? <laughs> I mean, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you might as well not show up. So that means, if you pre if you pre nut, then I I guess you're early. No. But that means you were late to stick it in. Then, I guess you'd be like on time. The latest, the latest form of being on time, I guess. Like you'd be at the on the like you'd be the latest form of getting of being on time. I'm glad we're having this conversation in the middle of a crowded club room.